Hey everyone, I'm Nog, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Quite a lot has been going on since uh, the last episode, and I will take you through it all. I just need to grab some coal here. Whoa. Hello? He's a bit stuck. Where, where is he going? Um, he has coal, so he is going in here. Uh, okay, you went a bit too far, buddy. Uh, we'll make it eventually. Oh, I already picked up some coal. Because we have a stuck truck up here for whatever reason. Let's just give this guy a hand. The trucks really aren't that great at uh, finding their way around without getting stuck on stuff all the time. But hopefully we'll figure that out. Uh, okay, so we have a truck stuck, stuck up here uh, out of fuel. Uh, and again, I guess it's been stuck on something somewhere. Uh, because normally it wouldn't uh, run out of fuel like this. So, let's give it some coal and get it on its way. So, one of the things that has happened is that we have absolutely zero uh, tractors left. Uh, everything is trucks. Looks like we have another truck stuck down here, for whatever reason, and we'll see, okay, so yeah, uh, everything is trucks now, so that's great, and I think I will move this so that they don't get stuck on those, and uh, down here at the... Uh, What's it called? Uh, steel smelting facility. We have now got a total of 20 uh, foundries hooked up. And I need to get over there somehow. Let's just do this. Oh, it's the other one I need to go on. No, it isn't. So, let's see. So, yeah, we have... 20 boundaries hooked up here. We can actually only support uh, 15 because a foundry does 30 uh, steel per minute, so one belt can support uh, 15 foundries. 15 times 30 is 450. But uh, we'll set up another 10 over here and down at the end. We are going to split it off uh, here. We'll actually, here we will split this out. Oh, it is here. Here we will split it off and go in to uh, onto two lines. So this is going to be five for one line and five for another. But the input supports 10 uh, founders, right? So uh, we have 10 founders going, and half of the product will go on one line, and half of the product will go on another. And it'll go on uh, a line of 10 founders here for a total of another 450 uh, steel ingots. So yeah, that's done. Uh, also, uh, if we... Run, 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 run. I don't have my uh, explorer down here with me, unfortunately. That would have been nice. But quite a lot more has happened. Uh, so let's run up here. Go, go, go. This is taking a while. Yeah, so one tiny thing is that uh, I decided I wanted to do something a little bit different here. So I've made this 
like a small entry tunnel thing. And down here, I have set up walls on this thing because the trucks, they are kept running into each other and falling off and, and so on. I forgot to hide a node, I see. But this is split into two now. Uh, uh, so, yeah, there's that. And if we go down... We'll We now have uh, we have iron coming in here, I think. There should be iron here, and it's being moved over here. Iron plate, yeah. So this is the pickup uh, station for that. Over here we have pick pickup for uh, screws, and over here. We have pickup for encased uh, industrial beams, and we have quite a lot of encased industrial beams, which is really nice. Here, I need to figure out something different to get up here because this is a little bit ridiculous. But up here on top, we have all of our truck stations hooked up. Not all of them are active yet, but they're all hooked up, and uh, with an input uh, truck station and an output truck station. And for each, we have, go up here, we have a total of 15 industrial storage containers for each product. So yeah, we can hold quite a bit. And if we take a look here, this one is full of fuel, 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 this one. Oh. This one, and yeah, we have quite a lot of fuel for our trucks, so that's great. And we have quite a lot of the other products as well, so that's almost three full containers plus the truck station. Uh, what's this? Okay, let me just grab a bit of those. So we have almost two full containers of screws. And so yeah, I'm guessing we don't have any full containers of no encased industrial beams, but it's getting there. And basically, I've just hooked them up with so the three going this way, come around, three going the other way, come around, three going this way, come around, and so on. And then we have the them connected in between there and it runs around on top it's the exact same formula for all of them uh, on top here and comes in and gets supplied into the uh, uh, to the truck station the pickup truck station and we have fuel going around for all of the truck stations as well so yeah that's pretty good now, uh, more stuff has happened, so uh, let's go take a look. And we have trucks going everywhere. And truck pathing is, I think, going to be what we're we'll be focusing on today. So I built this up with an entrance here and the trucks ran into each other and suddenly they were unloading the wrong stuff uh, at the wrong places. So uh, this is for steel ingots and suddenly I had a ton of uh, limestone here and over here is for limestone and I had a ton of steel ingots there. So I got a little bit annoyed with that. So I put up a wall here so that they can't get uh, uh, go this way. And I have made a second entrance here for the limestone drop-off. Over here we will have, uh, down at the end here, I believe it is, yes. 
need to do something about that power line that annoys me a bit. Over here we have uh, uh, encased industrial beam pickup. And if we go up top, a bit of stuff has happened here as well. Uh, if we start down here, I have now hooked uh, two station or two truck stations up here, going into the same two storage containers. We have quite a bit of limestone, and we have both going into this uh, storage container, moving on to that one, and then they come out here on each their lines. So I'm basically using uh, these. Uh, storage containers as merger splitters so we have two 450 lines merging into here uh, for the same storage and then we have two 450 lines coming out and the containers they can do actually supply two 450 lines simultaneous simultaneously right so that's 900 uh, limestone per minute we are sending out here I've also set up a third truck station. Uh, uh, I haven't uh, activated it yet, connected it yet. Uh, but a third truck station here. And that one goes up here. And here we have the two bottom ones coming around into this little side building here. And going up to the production areas. And the third one uh, goes out and up uh, down at the end so yeah uh, up here we have all three lines of uh, concrete connecting in here and moving over to supply our encased industrial beam production and here we have the first uh, concrete factory with 10 concrete machines because it takes 450 per minute limestone so we can supply 10 and that produces 15 concrete per minute here so that means we need three production facilities for a full belt of uh, concrete next floor we have the exact same setup a full 10 machines making concrete and up here, we have the exact same setup. It hasn't been activated yet, but we will have uh, 10 machines making concrete and being supplied for the uh, encased industrial beam production. All right, so that's that. Um, and if we just jump down. Could actually hook this up with some power. Let's do that. Um, I think I need a power pole over here. There we go. So that is hooked up with power also now, which means that it will start supplying concrete. Oh, I need to hook this up as well. There we go. And there we go. A bit of concrete coming into there. All right. Good, good. So that is what has happened uh, during uh, or between episodes here. So here you can see that uh, we have one line going up here for limestone for the third level of limestone production. And down here we have the two bottom levels and they go on the outside here and come up to the first level. And one of them comes up the same height connects into another conveyor lift taking it up to the next level.
But yeah. Okay. So, what are we going to do today? Well, uh, I have been uh, monitoring my trucks, or our trucks, here. And we have this one that is stuck somewhere. Let's go take a look. Where, which way is it? That way? No. That way? That way. Okay. So, uh... I've been monitoring the trucks uh, quite a bit, and quite frankly, they suck. Uh, they are absolutely lousy at uh, making their way around, and uh, where the hell is it? There it is. What truck are you? Uh, you are steel ingots. So you need coal. There you go. There should it should be enough feeding it with coal and uh, it should have enough coal to go here and back again and to before it gets uh, fed more coal down at the uh, steel uh, smelting plant. All right. So there we go. Stealing gets delivered. And this one, uh, I guess, has quite a few stealing gets in it. Yeah, can have a hundred more. I don't want them. All right. So all of the trucks that are going to the central hub, they are running on fuel. But the ones that are going to, uh, for instance, the steel uh, smelting facility where we are delivering coal anyway they will run on coal. And the same for, uh, so the truck delivering iron ore to the steel smelting facility will also run on coal because it will get fed coal down there anyway. So yeah. All right. So I have been, as I said, monitoring the trucks quite a bit and they suck. Uh, they absolutely cannot uh, run on mixed paths, uh, they cannot uh, uh, come out here in the open and run into each other and uh, they cannot uh, like have an open area here where they can go one way and the other way because they just keep bumping into each other and they go flying everywhere. I actually had a truck while I was looking, it was really funny. Uh, it hit another truck up here and it went flying and landed on the side of uh, the building here. Uh, so it slammed into the side of the building and fell down here. It was hilarious. Uh, but not very uh, efficient, let's say. So, um, yeah. Uh, we need to make actual roads for them and they need to be one-way roads uh, something like we have going here and that uh, I think is what we are going to do today and this means that I'll have to repath all of the trucks again and uh, that kind of sucks uh, but it is what it is there is no way around it absolutely no way around it uh, yeah, oh, yeah, over here, uh, I guess you saw it earlier, I've also set up walls around so that they don't uh, fall off the, um, the road here, and I need to do it everywhere. I need a lot of walls. So yeah, there's that road. Ah, ragdoll, ah! <laughs> I actually think I love it when I get hit by trucks. It looks really funny. Uh, okay, so yeah, truck paths. Uh, we have a truck path going where we're going this way, on this side of the, the central hub, and we have the truck path where we're going this way, on the other side of the central hub. And that works fine. Uh, so that's okay. 
up here we have let's see here we have a couple of trucks and after I've set up walls this one apparently is really stupid is this the one with uh, no okay but it's going it's going to get there eventually it's just a little bit stupid there we go so uh, yeah we're, we're going to be setting up these walls all over the place uh, I need to do like this get that in and then I need to delete these two again and um, we need to build the actual paths around uh, so that we we don't have trucks going flying and getting stuck on each other and all kinds of stupidity okay it's the uh, it's the fuel truck that is showing its path notes okay so let's see we're going to need foundations. Well, let's put uh, found those foundations there. And then we're going to need walls. Oh, ragged all again. Uh, we're going to need these walls. I like these walls. They look kind of nice. And I guess we're going to need regular walls as well. And what the hell happened to that truck? Why is there a truck upside down here? What happened? I mean... It's ridiculous. Okay. So... Let's... Go away. Come on, get going. There you go. Gee, why is why is it turning all the way all the way there? I mean, it has to go all the way up. Oh, ragdoll! I'm gonna get ragdolled a lot here, I guess. Let's uh, let's just give it a high hand. See, this is the way you want to go. What if we actually say show path nodes and disable the autopilot? Does it have a... This is this node that's doing it. Delete it. And drive. Enable autopilot, hide path nodes and jump out. Uh, let's just give it a hand here as well. That was my bad. There, go. Okay. So <laughs> that's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna have to build do something about that. Uh, let's see. We build these, and there we have a. Couple of trucks again, fighting a bit. Uh, oh, this is the in. So that has to come over here. Uh, so that means that it will have to go up and over because this one. How much concrete do I have? Not a lot. I can go get some more. This. And... That actually means that maybe we don't want to take this down just yet. 
think I'd rather actually have it up maybe this high. Let's delete this. And get some foundations in. And we'll have to delete those as well. Okay. So, oh, almost got hit again. We'll need to bring these together with those over there. Actually, this is the out. Uh -huh. uh, okay, it's fine. Oops. Now we have a truck upside down again. It is what it is. I'll just leave them for now. Okay. It was actually the other one I wanted to go up, but uh, I can live with it. So this is the ones that are coming in here. So that means I need this to come up. One more. Uh, and nothing will be able to get in here at the moment. No, I, I don't care. Okay. And then we will come up or actually go down. not going to line up, and again, I don't really care. I just want it to bloody work. Uh, that way. Come on. There we go. We're not at height yet, but question is, what is the height? This won't line up at all. No, nope. but it it'll work, and it's gonna have to be like this. There's nothing I can do about it, really. This to be a little bit wider. Actually, let's just let it go straight in as well. And then we need a couple of ramps. There we go. Okay. So they will come in there. We also need to come down here and go over that way. So I think uh, what I'll do is I will uh, build a bunch of uh, these in between episodes and uh, then uh, I'll show you the results uh, once, uh, once it's done. So uh, thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little bit weird episode. But um, I hope you enjoyed it anyway, so um, I'll see you next time.